as you've heard, welcome back to LEGO Fortnite. Today, we are playing as Darth Maul from, of course, the Star Wars prequels. It was added into the store recently, and it looks so cool. I'm so glad that they actually have some of the LEGO Star Wars characters in here. There were a couple of others that were added recently that I'll probably showcase soon, like Anakin Skywalker, Padme, so stay tuned for that. But for right now, I wanted to choose my most favorite out of the group first, and that was, of course, Darth Maul. Now, I have a lot I wanna do in today's episode. The biggest goal will be getting the metal smelter, which refines metal for use in crafting. I think this will be a big thing to get, but the problem is we need a lot more bright core obsidian slabs and blast core. Now, luckily we do have some of that already. Like I have the bright core out of the way, and I think I have enough of the obsidian slabs. The thing that might be the most difficult is going to be wherever it went. Uh but I have the blast core somewhere. I think I put it over with the other monster drops. Yep, right over here, the blast core. So we'll have to go back into those caves and find more of those enemies to defeat. But to do that, there's a couple of things we need to keep in mind. We need to get the frozen um, berry drink. We need to make some better tools as well because as you can see, I'm almost, like I have one pickaxe, I definitely need another one because one is usually not enough. And on top of that, if we could get maybe another uh, crossbow, like all sorts of little things like that we definitely need to focus on today. So yeah, first off, we will build ourselves up in that way, and then we will try to get as much as we can figured out. So there's that out of the way. I think I might already have an extra crossbow somewhere. I might be wrong, no, yeah, got it right here. So I wanna keep that with me. I'll put this other slab away in my inventory somewhere, I guess right here seems good enough. And then I think we'll put that wool thread where it's supposed to go, of course. And then the pickaxe. I need to make a new pickaxe here. So with this one, I'll need flex wood and sand claw. Pretty simple. I just go over here. I take one, two, three. I put that one back there. And then sand claws, we actually got a ton of these last episode. I forget how many I needed. So I'll just take like a huge chunk of them. Uh, and that should be pretty good. That is already yeah, enough for us to make one of these. Boom. Now, obviously, if we could get the inner fire charm, because we don't have that one, right? Yeah, we don't. That one would keep us warm and cold temperatures. We already have the cool headed charm, but that's not enough to keep us comfortable in that cave. So that's where we need to make a bunch of, over here with the juicer, the snowberry juice. I need snowberry and milk, which I have a lot of milk. I don't have a ton of snowberry right now. So I think that is something I need to work on, but over here, I can grab that. That's one snowberry. I definitely need to get some more. So maybe I could you know, talk to you, of course. I don't, okay, move it, Silas. I don't have any more fertilizer at the moment, unfortunately. So I might just want to see what I have here. I probably don't need the corn as much anymore. So if I were to go over here and get the snowberry seeds, Maybe I could grow some more stuff. So get that out of here, get that in there. I don't think there's a way to expedite it, unfortunately, so it's just gonna take time. But I guess in the meantime, I made that extra pickaxe. I probably just need a lot of food, whatever's gonna keep me cold for the longest, which if I take a look at my food here, I don't have any extra. So it's really just about making some of the frozen berries. I'm not really close to a snow biome, yeah. That's unfortunate. If I was close to a stove by him, I would just go grab some berries from there. So that might take me some time, unfortunately, because how much did I need for it? Just, I needed two just for one, but that would give me 10 minutes of heat resistance, so definitely worth doing. Um, it just might take some extra time. So in the meantime, what else do I want to do here? I think honestly, I'm pretty prepared. It's mostly just about having enough food to last me if I do take a lot of damage and, um, working our way from there. See, so, yeah, I don't have any more in this at all, which is very unfortunate, but I could just heal up with different types of food. So for now, I might take a whole bunch of these. Let's take seven. Actually, I might take even more. I can always grind up more of those, no problem. So we'll make a bunch of food, and we might just wanna get going with that as soon as we can. Okay, I'm finding a little bit more of the fertilizer by these chickens. So happy that we have like this little flock of chickens that seem to frequent our village because that is really useful for more of the fertilizer. So I can use that, of course, to grow more of the plants, I think. I, I hope that there is a way to just do this. Oh no, I can't. So I can't just like use that on there. But at the least, I can combine that with some of the soil that we have. 
and even dig up more soil if we needed to just to make a couple more of the the spots even though I put a couple more of the frost berries in these other ones like including this one still has the pepper thing in there but there is something else in there instead but I should have enough to at least make two more so I'll definitely make sure that gets done actually no I can only make one more but that is still pretty good I'll put this in there and as soon as we can I'll try to get more of these grown but I just need one more of those frost berries to make it happen oh what do you guys have actually uh, how's your job? Marble slab is fantastic. How many did you get? Eight of them, that's really good. What about you, Gus? You're our newest member of the village. You have granite slab. How many? Eight more, awesome. And whoa, banana buddy over there. Um, Wait, what did that say about Peely? Yeah, Peely's walking away. Uh, Pepper seed, that's the least useful one, but I'll take it. Thank you, Bright Palmer. Hi, Peely. Peely looks at you as if to say, I'm Peely. Peely claps her hands and excitedly points at you. Pilly tiredly rubs her eyes. Aw, um, Pilly jumps for joy, Pilly yawns and looks around, hoping to find a place to stay. Love in my village. Pilly thinks about that. Pilly shakes her head no. Pilly needs an empty bed to sleep on. Um, do I have enough? I mean, I do better do this quick as Pilly is leaving. <laughs> but um, I don't know if I have the extra slot even then. But I'll try. Let's see. Oh, Pilly's coming back, don't worry. Uh, yeah, I don't think I do. Even then, I don't have the, the actual upgrade that allows me to invite another villager. I could at level eight. Ooh, yeah, not happening. I mean, I can try it just in case. I'm like misreading something there. A bed right here. All right, Pilly, you wanna join? Um, Pilly looks terrified. Pilly stops running and wipes their brow in relief. Okay, wait, no, hold on. Get over here, Peely, please. <laughs> no, I keep clicking the wrong button. All right, Peely, one more time. Live in my village. Yeah, still no, so I think we just gotta wait. Unfortunate, but that's just how it is. I didn't put anything in this one. I guess I'll put the pepper seeds in here, just because I want something in there. Actually, no, I should really do something that's more uncommon. I think for now, I mean, we can cook corn, so it feels like it's a worthwhile one. Do that. Get back over here, and boom, perfect. Oh, snowberries, thank you. That's two snowberries. It's enough to make at least one of the smoothies, then I'm happy. We just need some milk. So I go over to our food, I take some milk, and we make one. Excellent, snowberry shake, exactly what I need. And there we go. Oh, I need, yeah, okay, that should be good. That'll make one snowberry shake, unfortunately, that's all we get, but that's still 10 minutes of being able to hopefully just survive a little bit better in that cave. I'll definitely take that. All right, so over here, I have that, and whoa, I'm stuck for some reason. Whoa, that was really weird. Uh-oh, <laughs> the game's getting a little weird there. I don't know what just happened, but I think we're just about in a position then where I should be able to put this stuff back 13 there. So what else do we need at this point? It should just be Oh, I needed 35. Whoa, I definitely don't have enough then. So I'll have to keep working on that. I'll make sure that this is cooking eggs while we're gone. Uh, change recipe, get that cooking up. And I think this is enough food to last us. We're gonna head out to a cave, a desert cave, like that one way over there, once it's morning, so it's easier to travel. And then we should be good to maybe get a bunch more materials. I sure hope so. Okay, it is now finally time to head out into the world and find this cave. I don't know if we'll find anything crazy along the way. I don't know if I wanna go too wild with it. I feel like right now there's a lot of things to potentially get distracted with. Like I definitely need to have a run where we just go and get a bunch of amber soon. Whoa, game is sort of catching up with everything. But I think that is definitely something I will save for later just because I really wanna make progress with the caves specifically today. So I will fly down here and boost up out of this one and I need to go in that direction. And of course, as much inventory space as I can keep open as possible because some of the chests that we found in the cave last time were huge. Obviously, chests don't respawn their contents, at least not in my experience so far. Speaking of which, I guess I'll check out this one. Uh, nothing I need. But if we can go deeper into the cave than we did last time, find more chest contents that way, 
that'd probably be a pretty big deal, right? So definitely something worth working on. I just gotta keep going this way. And while we're flying around, we really need to look to see if there's any other caves to get to. Because I know, oh, there that's something else I need to do. Get over there. Because a lot of you let me know what I was doing wrong the last time I checked that out, is that I wasn't doing any taunts. If you dance at them, they'll give you loot. We'll see if that's the case, because I can't seem to get it to work most of the time. Ready? Boop. I should be able to fly right on top of there. I don't know what button it is to taunt, so I might have to pull it up on the menu and find out. Uh, okay, my button to emote is B. Oh, here we go. Whoa, whoa, what did they give me? <laughs> here we go, Um, flour, ooh, slapberry, burger, dynamite, pizza, heavy wool, wool. Ah, uh, should I go back up there? You think that would give me even more stuff? Nah, they're gone, they're gone, they're gone. Well, we're hungry, so now's the perfect time to maybe gobble up some of that stuff. Uh, I think for now, I should probably have the pizza, right? Uh, the pizza gives me a bunch of hunger back. So, I mean, I should probably save that then. Should definitely save it for when we're low on health. I'll eat up some of this stuff right now. I'll probably eat up the slap berry, if not anything else. It gives me extra stamina. There we go. So I'll do that, and then maybe every minute or so I'll eat another one. Anyways, we're getting a little closer to this cave. So I just gotta keep working on that. Like I said before, if we could look around for more, oh, more cave entrances. That would be huge. I'll bounce to this one. I think I'll chill out on this cliff edge. So I'm sort of going off in the wrong direction. Stop throwing rocks at me, that's not very nice. Whoa, okay, you're gonna try to mess with me. I'm going to ignore you. I'm not seeing too much over here and I'm sort of going the wrong way now. So, gotta be careful, but let's go this way. Just head to this cave that I've been to before. I know that there was one around here, but whenever we went into it, it would never mark it on our maps. So, just gotta be careful. These guys don't want nothing but trouble, so I'm going to keep walking, but you have a chest in there. Hmm, I don't know, I'll come back for it later. Come back for it later. Okay, whatever's in the caves for right now would be way more useful. Yeah, okay, let's get back over here then. Since I missed it somehow, went right by it. Should be right over in this direction. Boost again, and still don't quite see it, but it's straight ahead somewhere, so just gotta keep moving. We'll find it soon enough. My stamina come back. And then also eat up some more food. Got it. Uh, where is it? Huh. Is this it? These are, they're so just easy to miss, it's crazy. Um, no, it's, it's over here, somehow. <laughs> I don't know, I've lost it. it. It's gotta be around this corner. Oh yeah, it's this one. You can sometimes sort of see, I don't know if there's like a real trick to it. I guess maybe the coloring of the top of it, being sort of more sand color. Oh hey, leave me alone please. Let's go into the cave, and hope that it turns out well. I mean, I guess one thing, you know what? Little idea I should have here, actually. I don't know if this is like the best idea ever, but since I have some extra stuff like I don't need right now, what might be good is just to make a chest out front of the, of the cave. Just like this, and then, where are the chests at? Here they are. Oh, I need planks, for, okay, never mind. I need planks for that, not just normal wood. I always forget how much of a pain it is to actually make chests in this game, so I'll just drop all this stuff. I mean, I like having wool, but I'm going to save it because I need the inventory space. We're heading into the cave. All right, we finally made it, and we need to make the most out of our time here, so let's go ahead and drink this up, just like that, and boom, we're on the move. I guess I should have kept some of the wood because I could use it to make platforms, but as you can see, some of the platforms I had before are still here. Gonna get my torch out just like this, and we will just try to get whatever we can. A lot of the stuff around here looks like it, whoa, what was that? Oh, that was a skeleton. I'm looking for the guys that explode because his blast cores are a huge part of what I need to find. Like this guy right here. Uh, see, I can do this, but then we need to beat you up before you explode. Come on, there it is. All right, we got ourselves a blast core. So we need to look around all over the place for stuff exactly like that. We gotta be very careful though because there's a lot of places we can just meet our untimely demise if we're not careful. So I'll pick up that. I'll go over here and we'll start mining what should be 
right core, I think. I really need a little bit of everything. So I'll take some bright core wherever I can get it. We can get a couple of stacks of everything, I'll be real happy, but we'll have to wait and see if that'll actually end up being the case. So a couple of bright core, but there's a treasure chest. If I didn't break it, that means it's definitely a good one. Here, I need to make a just normal platform for now, just to get across here, I think. So I can just do that. Then jump, run, jump. What's inside of this chest over here? We get ourselves another torch, always useful. Don't need the pumpkin seeds, but I'll just put that here. Marbles, okay, the shield is the best thing there. Um, and then break. There we go. So I will just go ahead and drop the pumpkin seeds, because I know I'm not gonna need them. What is that noise? Okay, there's a skeleton. I'm a little bit scared about this, but I think we could build this here. I think I can make that jump. I think I can, there we go. Got some more stuff over here, including another chest and plenty of other ore deposits. So if I could just break this open, I'll have to find some more wood, because I think I used the rest of it there. We are, we're already two minutes into using the slappery potion, so that part is a little stressful. But eventually, I'm just gonna start taking damage. That is what it is. Ah, ooh, ooh, especially if that happens. Oh no, <laughs> not good. <laughs> Be careful, please. I'm trying. All right, um. I guess I could, well this is a pretty good reward actually, the recurve crossbow. Once again, I don't need those seeds. The seeds are like the least useful part. Can I break it with this? Not really. Um, and it's like, chests are one of those things you just can't punch. Yeah, it's weird. So I need to use a chest or a pickaxe if I want to destroy it. Then I drop the seeds because I just don't need them. At least these kind of seeds specifically. This though, I do need. Look at all the ruby we can find here. The one weird part is it feels like, I think this is a dead end. Thank you for helping me with that one, Silas. Do you mind helping me with this one over here too? Come on, buddy. He's all relaxing already, like it's a job well done. We got more to do. I don't know if he knows how to get over. Come on. Okay, he's stuck. He's not gonna help me too much with this one, very unfortunate, but there's so much ruby to get here. I wanna make sure I get as much of it as possible, so let's grab this. Cause ruby I think is the one we got the least out of the three. The ruby bedrock or whatever it was called, the purple one. Well, there's a chest here too. Spipey, spicy peppers, I don't really need. I'll take the marble. Uh, really not that good stuff so far. Uh, we got some crazy stuff last time. It's like I can't complain too much, but I'll still complain a little bit. There we go. And then I'll use my pickaxe just to get a little bit more wood so we can platform our way out of here with all this lava. That'll be good. There's gotta be more than one entrance and exit though to this cave system. We've yet to find a cave system that doesn't, I don't think. They almost always just have like a way to get out. There we go, grabbing that ruby. And this one, but we'll get it later. Here we go, Silas is helping me with this one. There we go. And over here, I see a health bar over there, so there's definitely some way to get over. We're almost halfway through this smoothie, this concoction that is keeping us nice and cool in this super hot cave, which is great, but even if we run out of that, it's not the end of the world, we don't have to leave. We just need to make sure that we're hasty and we're paying attention to our health, all that kind of stuff. We can eat up the pizza to get some of the health back. But this definitely shows me that I wanna make more of those and I definitely need to make like a whole bunch of uh, snowberry stuff. So it looks like if I wanna get anywhere, I'm gonna have to go up. So let's get this staircase figured out, just like this. I can make three sta staircases, so maybe I uh, snap it over like this and then hope that this is enough. How do I wanna do this? I can't do it like that, so let's get it over here. Just so that I can actually get up there. And then if I need to jump back down, well wait, we've been over there before, okay. <laughs> Interesting. And there's another treasure chest over there too, so maybe I can make a little bit of a bridge at some point, I'll need more wood for that, I just use up the rest of it. But, obsidian, I don't know why I called it bedrock before, no! Silas, be safe! You okay, buddy? I think when they get knocked out like that, oh, never mind, I was gonna say, he might be out for a little bit, but no, he's fine. Okay, so definitely break this one. And, got it. So I need to just fly all the way back down. Grab all this obsidian. Then, okay, that was scary. Got it. It seems to be all of it for now. At least that I can reach reasonably. I will 
pick up that piece of wood, get back up here. Oh wait, wait, wait. You could definitely get that, right? Oh, you have the skeleton over there now. I don't like that. Uh, I can't really reach this. I'm gonna leave it. And then I will head up here. There's plenty of other spots where I can reach other stuff. I saw a treasure chest up here, right? Somewhere. Um, cool. Scary. Over here, over here. So what does this one have for me? It has, I'll take the, I don't need the slab right now. I actually don't need too much of any of this. I'll leave it for now. And then maybe go over here, oh boy. What do I got, another torch? Why are the torches like the main thing I'm getting? Ow, that hurt, that was very rude. Okay, uh, I'll fly over here to get this. Then I'll need to make a staircase to get back up. There's already some wood waiting for me here. I wonder how long that's been there. I guess since the last time we've been here, right? We've been up there. So it takes a while for stuff in caves to like respawn. Oh, this is a dead end too, darn. Um, a little concerning. I hope we're not already sort of through with this cave. We found some decent amount of ore, but I wanna find a whole lot more. There's gotta be ore to this cave, maybe off in this direction. Okay. There is some up there. A little bit out of the way. And then there's an exit to the cave here. We haven't left through this way, I don't think. This is not, the, no wait, this is the way we came in, right? I can't tell. <laughs> we'll find out in just a moment. Is this the way? Oh, it is. I went in a big circle, somehow. How did I manage that? I don't know. Here, let me drop this stuff. Uh, Drop this. That, I just don't need, the wood though is good to have. The marble I might end up dropping, we'll have to wait and see, but I still have inventory space so I should keep going. I still have two minutes left of this heat resistance, so I definitely gotta keep going. Maybe that's it for this cave. Like I, mean, I think there was maybe a couple more things up on the roof or something where I can mine out some more obsidian or something like that, but I couldn't find any more like pathways deeper into the, the cave. So I'm a little bit worried that that's it when it comes to actually finding new spots in it. I will try to, no, oh, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Though I could sink over on that part, I couldn't. So jump, glide, I don't need to glide, but just keep going. I don't see anything more down here. And it really stinks because there was only that one enemy with a blast core. And I picked that up, right? Uh, Yeah, right here, okay, so. Unless I wanna go up to the roof there, which, oh wait, 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 oh, there's a lot of stuff over here. Okay, I th think I found a pathway where I haven't been. I gotta fight you, I, I guess. Here, get out of here, please. I don't wanna waste time on ya. Silas, needs to get over here. Another one, oh yeah, Silas. Okay. Being a little dramatic, don't you think? Get out of here. And then definitely I wanna get some more ore. Cause over here, wait, this is a, is this a different one? Staircase, boom. Right there. Leave me alone, please. Uh, is this copper? This has gotta be copper. What happened to this house? Did he get knocked out? I think he got knocked out, ow. Just give me a moment, guys. Give me one second, okay? Just use the plot of durability. It is copper. Whoa, so there's another type of ore down here. All right, you guys wanna go? Let's go. Gonna have to really give it to you while Silas is out for the count for a bit. Not good. Ooh, if you guys talk me out here, I'm going to be very, very unhappy. Okay, I need to eat some food. See, so yeah, a copper metal found in lava caves, not just for coins. What do I need to do though? I need to eat some food and fast. Let's eat this stuff then. Hi Silas, you're finally back. Eat some food and yeah, now we are officially over here. That poor skeleton getting knocked all around there. How many pieces of copper did I get? I got seven pieces. That really used up durability though. So. We're just gonna be overheating the entire time where we're left in this cave, which definitely stinks, but it is what it is. Okay, we filled up there, pick up this wood, go like this, and boom. Another skeleton, are you kidding me? That's the one thing I don't like about the caves, is it's a little much with the whole ha ha ha, there's a skeleton every two and a half seconds. This is, I wanna play the game, and I can't because there's a skeleton every single moment I'm trying to do anything else. Okay, help me out with this one, Silas. Come on, you can do it. 
I think he got a, a few swipes in, so I'll take whatever I can get. Thank you, thank you. Uh, there's a couple more up here. I know we're taking more heat damage, which is where we gotta pick up the tempo. I don't know if it's better to get Obsidian or to get, uh, no, come on. All right, whatever. Um, to get the copper right now, but the problem is, as you can see, it's a slow break. It's a really, really slow break. But we can get there eventually. Got it? So I'll just get whatever I can of the copper. It's probably gonna use up the rest of this pickaxe, but we did bring another one, so I guess it's fine. Keep chipping away at this as much as I can. But yeah, it's crazy if there's another new ore to find here. Grabbing all that. And it luckily does have a decent yield of stuff, it seems. Okay, so right here and continue to mine. Definitely gotta get as much of this as I can. So Silas, if you wanna help, if you're trying, but you're missing. Come on, almost there, almost there, got it. Uh, maybe I will do something like that. This would probably be better. I can't get it to connect though. Uh, all right, yeah, I just can't. Not until I break this one. A little annoying, but it's okay. Let's keep working on this. We're not really taking that much heat damage. It's like a quarter of a heart every once in a while. I thought it would really chip down our health a lot faster. So we'll be fine for a good chunk of time here. I guess I'm more so just worried about the durability of my pickaxes and more than anything, more skeletons showing up. So let's just grab this copper as soon as we can, boom. And that is going to be 42 copper. So like I said, the yield of the ore is actually really, really good. I wonder what's down there. We'll find out soon enough. I don't see anything. Wait, there's a chest. There's a chest, definitely worth it then. We just got such crazy stuff from the chests last time that I'm really disappointed in what we're getting this time. I don't need the bones. Uh, just not much, really not much. I know I'm supposed to be destroying the chests, but now I'm sort of like on borrowed time a lot more. I don't wanna bother with it. I see you in here. I'll deal with you in a second. I just wanna see what else we can find. Even more copper, even more of the bright stuff. Oh no, they're really gonna try to beat me up now. That's the one downside to the strategy is I'm just getting them all to chase me uh, over here, which is not good. So maybe what I could do is go over here and then, oh geez, come on. Yeah, I have to fight them. Cause if not, Silas, do you wanna help me out with this? They're all just standing over there. I don't have any TNT. I should probably start bringing TNT cause I could just toss that at them and explode them all there probably, right? Or for you, Silas, do you wanna help? Or are you just not in the mood today? What's that? Okay, ooh, scary, because now they're all gonna go for me, and that's not really good, because these guys still hit pretty hard. Back it up, swing, swing, swing. Uh, okay, ready? Keep swinging. The sword only has so much durability too, so it can be a bit of a troublesome situation, but you're the last one. Got it, awesome. So, back to here. We should be free of the, the the skeletons for a bit. I can get a bunch more copper. And I wanted to see back over here with, what is it, the smelter. What did I need? Obsidian slab and blast core. So I guess my big problem right now is I'm not really finding any blast core enemies. I found the one and that's been it so far. I need to find, like I have the one core, I have one back at home. We need to find at least one more for any of this to work out, so. Gotta keep at it for now. We'll keep chopping this up. There you go. And we came in from over there. So that means we haven't been down this way. No. Lots of chests I'm already seeing, including one here. So I will Build one as soon as I can. And see what's inside of this one. Okay, two, count them, two sandbird scales. Feels like quite the find. I should probably be picking up some of the, uh, what's it called now? Some of the sand claws, because we're getting a lot of them. 
so much copper around here, it's crazy. An explosive fight happening over there. I will try to help Silas in a moment. Okay, we've been over there a bit, so. Just trying to get a good lay of the land of everything going on here. Okay, that, is, that does it. You tossed one of those to me. We got a fight. Oh, and you broke my staircase too. Don't appreciate it. Not one bit. It's crazy that they don't drop TNT that I can use or dynamite or whatever. So my only concern is how much, I got a decent chunk of obsidian, so maybe it's fine. I was worried that maybe I didn't get enough, but between this and what I have at home, I think I'll be okay. What do I need to do here? I need to go and eat some food. Uh, so I will eat some of this meat. Silas is back, good to see ya, buddy. But none more of the explosive, oh no, I thought I saw one. One of the explosive blast core enemies. We'll get up there for sure. I also got like a decent chunk of rubies, but it seems like so far rubies are actually the more rare thing. Okay, you know what? I will break this stuff. That's proving useful, just so that I can climb up there. One more time and check out this treasure chest. And inside, yes, more obsidian. Uh, the snowberry seeds are a pretty good pickup. I do have some dynamite over here. Didn't realize. Uh, oh, and I can stack up that dynamite. Uh, ooh, I'll save it for now. It's not going anywhere. Just gotta remember that it's not going anywhere. Um, I definitely need to eat up some more food because it feels like we're taking more damage faster now. Maybe I just got beat up by something. There we go. Let's just bring ourselves back the full to get the bonus hearts for a moment, maybe. Okay. Um, I'll get the corn there. Then I can take these. Okay, so how do I want to do this? I got my torch over there. Did I throw that one by mistake? I might have. There's another chest here. This one's pretty easy to reach, so I will do that. Well, okay, so that scared me. Sand shells are usually pretty good, but in this situation, <laughs> I don't have the space for it, so I will keep it there. So, so far, yeah, some of the pickups from the chest have not been as like jaw dropping as last time, but at least we got two sand brutes. What was that noise? Thought I heard the sizzling of a blast core enemy. I'm not seeing it though. So let's get over here. Boom. A brute scale. Awesome. Um, what are we putting it over this time? The marble. It has to be the marble. Uh, everything else here is not really that important. And I'm not seeing too much more over here. So let's go ahead and mine for a bit. We've been doing everything but mining recently. I want to at least. I wish that this. Uh, stack would go up to 50, but it looks like copper only goes up to 30. So I wanna finish off this next 30 of them. And then from there, I might just wanna fill up some other inventory slot, either it'd be more bright core. If I could find obsidian or ruby, that's probably more preferred. Okay, I'm gonna break this end as much as I can. Got it. Did that even get me any? Yeah, we're at 77, so I can still do a bit more. So a bit more I shall do. I can just barely reach this. And this is a full pickaxe, so definitely make the most out of it. We're gonna need copper eventually, but the problem is we can't smelt copper until we get this smelter, obviously. So it's just, that's where the big pressure is to find one more blast core somewhere. Like we found one at the entryway of this cave, and then the second blast core I've gotten is the same enemy just respawned. So they seem to be a pretty uncommon spawn so far if we've technically only run into one. Okay. Uh, how many more bright cores can I actually get? Okay, so I might have to drop a copper at some point because three stacks of it feels pretty plenty to me. But there's other things I could probably drop here. So bright core 30 is the most I can hold. Uh, like, do I really need heavy wool? Probably more than I need the, the, than like a flower. I can make more flower in plenty of situations. Let's get bright core instead or something similar, we'll see. But I'll get over here. We're really not taking that much burn damage. I thought it'd be more of a detrimental thing than it ended up being. Ooh, there's more obsidian. Definitely wanna scoop up some of that 
another. You, come on, slice them up, slice them up quickly, as fast as we can, before you explode. Uh, got it. So our third blast core cannot do that now. Yes, you can. There you go. Uh, that is amazing. Exactly what we needed. Draw strings are pretty good, but I'll save it for later. Um, I can get a little bit more bright core. Let's do one more cluster break core here, or at least until that. Oh, this stack actually is past 30. I guess this one might go up to 50. That's convenient. Obsidian, that was definitely something I would like to stack up on a bit more. I think what's happening also with our health is that we're taking this damage very slowly, and I think our totem triggers, and it will just refill it or something. I don't know. Whoa, another one, another one. Here we go. Now we're getting a whole lot luckier with these guys. Help me out, Silas. And quickly, ah, watch out! Whoa, what was going on there? Wait, did we not get it? Oh, we didn't get it. No, it's up there still. I was gonna say, the other guy attacked me. I don't wanna mess with him. That was so scary. All right, get over here. And um, check out what's in this one. Nothing really. All right, where'd you go? There's another one. Okay, you know what? This is actually an excellent opportunity and I will seize it just like that. Ooh, okay, no, they're just sort of, come on. Oh, they're wiggly little ones. It's hard. There we go. Uh, I don't know if this is all that much better than actually going and fighting them, but if I could at least get rid of you. Got it. And then you down there. I think there's another one over there. Okay, I'm running over. We're beefing with you. Uh, come on, slice, 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 slice. Ooh, that was close. Way too close for comfort. Right here? Is it like wherever? No, that's just a spider. I was like, huh, maybe they pop out of there. Not the case. I'm just so, so happy we found a few more. Oh, here's one. I can't believe it. We found like a proper cluster of them. A little community of them. Come on, quickly. I would really like it if Silas would help with that, but come on, pick this one up. And we gotta get back to mining some more stuff. I see a lot of obsidian around. I think it'd be a nice one to have. So if we could work on that for a bit, I think it's a good idea. We're really doing well now. So I just gotta make sure I don't die in this cave or I'm, I'm going to tear up a little bit for sure. Gonna mine that stuff. I should make a platform. Just right here. Just so that I don't have to worry about awkwardly, awkwardly trying to pick it up when I can just do that. Watch out for the spider, <laughs> scary. And then there's a lot of obsidian back here and ruby. The ruby might even take precedence for me. Just have to be careful because there are some scorpions. And why are you using an ax? Did your pickaxe finally break? Or maybe it's because he's fighting guys. I'm gonna give him the sword in a moment because I do have another sword. Because I think his sword broke. Yeah, I haven't seen him use it in a while. Okay, there's more ruby. And we are still like above max health. We have the bonus health. I think it's because of the totem. It's really nice. Where can I put this? I gotta go to put this somewhere, right there. Good enough for me. If it helps me get this, then I'm happy. Cause how are we doing with Ruby? 22 so far. I wanna get that as close as we can to a full stack. And then back to some obsidian. I just have to be a little bit more pick and choosy now because we are really starting to use up the durability of this pickaxe. We're almost halfway done with it now. Can you get out of here? Where did Silas go? Did he get knocked out by a couple of scorpions? Oh, they explode? Why do they explode? Had they always done that? That was awkward. You can see it didn't do enough damage for me to go under my max health. So my totem just sort of kicked in and I got the health back. So that's fantastic. See, so yeah, this is my second obsidian stack we're working on. That goes up to 50 as well. So it's really the copper that's difficult to work with. I will try to get some more copper soon. I'm sure of it, but right now. Obsidian and Ruby have my biggest interest, the most intrigue for me. Let's go ahead and make another, always clicking the wrong one. I guess that works. It's enough to reach and I'm happy. I need more wood soon. And I'm hoping that at this point we can just find another exit somewhere. Because it's gonna be such a pain to get back to that other one. 
such a pain to get the, back to that one. Okay, grab that, grab this. So we can get up to 100 obsidian. I now currently have, ooh, 48, 49, one more. So I guess I should break this open, but just for one more of them feels a little silly. It is what it is, so. I am getting a little bit hungry though, so I should eat this stuff up. I thought that I'd have to bring this food for the health, but instead I'm bringing it for the just the hunger. That's actually a pretty good situation. Okay, so I can't hold those, at least not for now. Maybe I don't need the snowberry seed. I have some back at home. I could, in theory, eventually go back to the frost biome and get some there, so we'll save that for now. I wanna go a little bit further into this cave. I haven't gotten that chest, I don't think. It doesn't look like it, so if I could, oh hey, you're back. Um. I definitely haven't gone to this one. I see you up there. The blast cores are basically my number one priority at this point. Let's switch that one out for that. Get some more sand claws because they seem to be everywhere. And keep it moving. Okay. Build this right here. Excellent. And what do I have in this one? Marble, pepper seed, dynamite. Dynamite, I'll take. Now you're trying to eat me up here. Can't let that happen. Oh, arrow. Okay, there's a couple more of those guys. I think I'll glide over like this super quick. Oh, nice! All right, slap juice is pretty cool. I don't need it as badly, but I'll put it there. Ow, rude. Um, Two blast cores out of that chest, though, is a huge pull, in my opinion. I'll go ahead and destroy that. Destroy some of this. Nice, nice, nice. They're really trying to get me here. I'm not gonna let you do it. Sorry, I'm out of here. I'm moving. But over there, I can see another one of them. So we'll definitely get that. So we can get a little bit more of the blast core. Armed up, so go for you, come on. Gotta be fast with the stylus, gotta work together. Oh man, that just makes me so tense every time. We have seven blast cores now. Huge. What's going on? Over here, they're throwing rocks at me. Very, very uh, childish of them. All right, got it. And then over here. Oh, another treasure chest. Inside we have nothing that's making me too excited, but I got some extra arrows, I could always use them. Uh, And nothing over here either. Now there's a lot of paths over this way. Like there's some more stuff down there. I think there's like three or four paths this way. This is where I get nervous. That this cave is just gonna go on forever. More rubies are definitely, if I have to spend anything, like the rest of my, what's it called, the rest of my picture ability doing anything, it's going to be getting rubies because that seems to be the hardest one to come across out of all the different ores we've seen so far. Copper seems like it can be hard to come across, but when you do come across it, you get a lot of it. So for right now, if I can just fill up some more with rubies, I'll take it. Because right now it's not really about an inventory thing. Like there's a couple of things here I wouldn't mind dropping for more rubies or copper, but I think I'm gonna run out of durability before I have to make that decision. I do see another blast core enemy over there, so I will get up this way real quick to make sure there's nothing up here. There isn't, so what I'm scared of is that one over there attacking me. We're just gonna have to try it. Ooh, come on, swing, swing, swing. There we go. Ooh, give me this blast core. And then, oh, let me talk to Silas real fast. Silas, oh, we might have to complete this fight first. Come on, hey, you're gonna try to get me. I'll try to catch you back though. Ooh, Silas, help me out. Thank you. Okay, buddy, I'm going to give you this sword. Take this, continue. Sword. I did not give him the one I was holding. Uh-oh. <laughs> See, how am I supposed to know? It doesn't show me which durability of like whatever I'm handing him is. So I just thought I was gonna give him my sword that is super low durability, but instead I gave him the one that actually has durability, but this one's a little bit better. And I also have dynamite and more slap juice. Great. All right, we'll do something like that for now. And then I will maybe drink some of the slap juice. It does also refill my hunger, so that's at least good and also gives me more stamina, so I feel like we're doing pretty good overall there, all things considered. More ruby, too. 
like I was saying before, I'm pretty darn lost at this point. Like I, there's, I could probably, if I really, really tried, retrace my footsteps. But what I'm concerned about is that it would just take too much. Okay. Uh, hmm. So do I want more copper or do I want more ruby? I have three sets of copper. I only have one set of ruby. So I think I will, no, not this. Here, drop, pick that. No, uh, please. There we go. <laughs> Why was that so complicated? Definitely will get up here though. Knock this down if I can, please. There you go. So we need to make more cut ruby. We need to make more obsidian slabs. The copper will be super useful once we make the smelter. But I'm definitely getting to that point where I just sort of want to run faster. Whoa, 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 enemies everywhere around here. Wow, so many skeletons. So many skeletons. This is actually a bit overwhelming. They're throwing dynamite at me. Maybe I should throw dynamite back at them. There is a chest up there. What do I got? Uh, durability wise, it's not really beating out too much. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I think we just found our exit. That is huge. So I have enough space, enough durability to get a little bit more ruby right here. Nobody's chasing me. Oh no, they're chasing me. Uh, you know what? You guys wanna play a little bit of a hot potato? Here you go, catch. Catch another. Oh, don't, don't throw them back. Don't throw them back. Oh, okay. How about this one? How do you guys like it? Oh, they're, they're, they're spreading out. No way, no fair, no fair. Go over here again. Come on, come on. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. You get that one. And then over here. Come on, come on. Oh, they're getting closer. All right. Uh, okay, come on. Ready? Wait, I gotta wait for that one to explode. Oh, this is the most ridiculous thing. Come on. Almost got you guys. Gotcha. And gotcha. Get out of here. One way or another, we find a way to survive. I mean, not the pizza, I think. Actually, yeah, I don't really have any other food items to eat here, except for more of the slapberry drink. The spiders now too? Can't I just catch a break for a few seconds? The spiders, I really need to get rid of them because they will do a number on me fast. There we go. The other spider ran away. Good. <laughs> Maybe you saw what I did to all those skeletons. It was like, you know, I shouldn't have messed with that guy. Uh, this is good enough for now. Just to mine a couple more rubies. That's all I want. That's all I have the durability for. So let's just make it count like that. Got this one up here. And then I don't even know where we'll end up on the other side of this cave. We've gone in all sorts of different directions. But if I could just mine this one a little bit and then up there. I got a little bit more. There. It's crazy to me that the pickaxe is like more expensive than the blue tier axe, but has way less durability. I mean, I guess it's just a different kind of tool. It seems like in general, the pickaxe always has less general durability. We have a little bit left over. Here, ah, uh, that was a scary one. I guess I can get some obsidian. Well, do I have the space for obsidian? Oh yeah, I do. We, we sort of cleared up more inventory space simply by eating our food. I can't get up there very easily, but, ah, uh, can't quite reach it. I mean, I don't think I have enough Durability to finish swinging anyways. We know where the exit is, so I'm taking this last chance to really check for any last chests I might want. Wait, what is this? Oh, copper, nice, take it. And what about down here? No chests. Okay, I think we're good to bounce. There it goes, had one swing left in it. That's all I could do. Let's get out of here. That was a ton of fun. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. I got one more chest call on my name. Let's see if it has anything good. It does another sand brute scale, making three of them and some arrows and some sand claws. Could I really ask for anything more? <laughs> I mean, obviously there's always more room to farm stuff up, but ow, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Before something awful happens, I need to leave. Okay, so where are we exactly? We're not too far off. Will this be marked on the map though is the question? Cause sometimes the game can be really silly with that and not mark things on the map. I don't see it. Let me walk back up to it again. And uh, just like jump around a little bit. Like, whoa, hey. 
I'm at, the, I'm at the cave, please make it a marker. It might not, this is why I sort of wish you can make your own map markers. That scared me for a second. I thought I was like for real stuck there. Yeah, I don't know why it's not marking it. I don't think it is. Once again, I'll try to run away. It's definitely not on the map. Maybe if I like disconnect and reconnect, I'll try it. Yeah, this thing is just not showing up on the map, which is sort of a shame because obviously it'll just make it a little bit harder for me to remember that it's there and it's just another entrance to the cave. We'll have to go back in that cave for sure eventually because there were still other paths I hadn't quite gotten to. So definitely worth worrying about eventually. I might try to get to the rainbow thing though because it's on our way back home anyways and it got me some good rewards before. Uh, Let's see. Is there any geysers around here? Not that I'm seeing, okay, here's one. So I'll get over to this and we'll bounce over as soon as possible. I just need to wait for my stamina. Boop. And it's not too far off from here. Should be pretty good. Oh no, <laughs> wait, <laughs> landed on the bomb tree. Not what I wanted. Okay, was this the same one as last time? I don't think so, because that one disappeared after I got the reward. So maybe this will have some cool stuff. This is where I got the pizza before, so I will just land here. I'll eat up this pizza. Delicious. Pizza, rainbows, dancing. Can you name a better combination? Here we go. Whoa, what did they give me this time? Okay, I don't need the silk too much, but over here we got more of the heavy wool, the flower, the compound, the recurve crossbow. What are they doing? I don't know, I think they're probably just clapping for us or something. I could get more flour if I do this. There we go. Not bad. Okay, now the cave, or is that the other cave? No, that's the other cave. Yeah, the other, other cave that was out here was like about here. Just never showed up on the map, so silly. We gotta make our way home, so I need to bounce up here and then go to the left, like in this direction, right? This is where I just wish it would show up. I mean, like I checked and I, I don't, there's you know things you can buy to make it show up on the map here, but not just like constantly in the sky beyond you, which is why I would just really like it if I could set my own markers or just have a map on the screen. I understand that like some people might find that overpowered or something, but I feel like it's just like a basic convenience thing at this point. Either that or just have some kind of, kind of compass on the screen so I can at least see where I'm going. So that I know I'm going north or wherever. You're chasing me. I could actually fight you. Let's go for it. Because I have a slot for sand claws. But yeah, I guess at this point, nothing too exciting is probably gonna go on. We're just gonna try to head right home. So I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, we've done it. We are finally, finally home. And on top of that, we just have so much cool stuff. So I'm really happy to be home and to really work on our town a little bit in these upcoming episodes. But right over here, I feel like, you know, first thing we should probably do is just organize our inventory a little bit. So add all of these four sand brute scales, three brute or two brute scales, and then boom, eight more blast scores to the total to add nine. That's crazy stuff. Back over here, I mean, I have to organize this a fair bit more, I have a feeling. But for right now, I can add the rubies to here. Oh yeah, I probably need another chest. So. We'll have to work on that. Probably just this one. I know that I was gonna have this one. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I'll put it just like over here for now. What do I need for another chest? Because I definitely need to. Um, not root and marble, so I can get just that there. I'm just gonna take that stack. So I can make at least one more and put it right here. This is just gonna be for gem cutting for the time being. I might end up moving that at some point, but obsidian. Bright core, I guess the copper, and then definitely the ruby. Then get back over here and just whatever else I got. So ruby, bright core, amber, obsidian. Good. I guess I could keep the amber in there, uh, but I don't know. Maybe I'll end up putting the copper in here or something. For now, that works pretty well. I don't know when I put those there. Whoops. Uh, all right. So that's a lot more sort of organized. I'll, I'll piece it together a bit more in a moment. Oh wait, there's still. More ruby, look at how fast I filled up. I don't know, oh man. Yeah, I'll probably have to put some of it here or there. I'll put the copper with the marble and the, and the, and the granite. But overall, not bad. 
really a lot to work on here, but the number one goal for today's episode was getting the melt metal smelter. So for that, I needed 15 break core. So I'll be sure that I have 15 break core in my inventory, just like that. And then the other thing was what? It was obsidian slab, 35 obsidian slab. So let's make sure I have 14 right there, so I'll need at least 11 more. I'm just gonna take this whole stack and put this in the rock cutter over here. The sooner we do this, the better, because it takes some time. While that's happening, what else did we need? Three blast cores, we have nine of them, so I can take one third of that, boom. Excellent, so while that's happening, I'll organize my inventory a little bit more, and we will be back once that happens. All right, we're coming on the last of what we need here. It's crazy that it requires more than a full stack of obsidian slab to make this thing. It's just so expensive for some reason, but we'll get it down here in just a moment. 34 out of 35, come on, come on. There's one more right here, and we should be able to build it. Now, where exactly do I want it is the question. <laughs> I don't know if here's a good spot. How about I put it over here? Would that be okay? Um. How far over to the corner can I make? I could put it like over here. I know it's sort of like hanging out, but there we go. With that, I get the recipe for a copper bar, which of course requires copper and bright core, which we will make soon enough. Copper bar, bright core, used for crafting building materials, mine from copper, cop some copper. That sounds great. We'll work on all that in the next episode of Lego Fortnite. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.